we have on today, Ken Tanaka, and I will co-host him right now. You are Hello. Max, sir. Do you uh, like Max? I, I've never used a regular PC, so I only know uh -huh. Mac. Oh, okay. I have a 1985 Macintosh SE. There he that is. Like a, this is Jacob like the Macintosh. Size. I think it has uh, 64K. Say hello, Jacob. He's shy. <laughs> so, Ken, you actually speak Japanese, so, is that correct? Yeah, uh, Japanese was my first language. Uh, I grew up in Shimane, which is uh, n uh, kind of near Hiroshima. Uh, it's a very uh, rural area in the country. Um, uh, I guess the biggest city American people or foreign people might know is Osaka. I was born in Los Angeles and I was adopted, uh, as a baby. So I don't remember life in Los Angeles. And then I was brought to Japan, um, before I was one year old and then raised in Shimane. And then I returned here to Los Angeles when I was, uh, 33. Uh, in 2007. Sorry, can yes. I take a question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and click on it if you want. So, Elijah, uh, much for Ken Tanaka's parents going. Uh, you know, I made a lot more progress in my first uh, one year in America than I have in the past two years. It's kind of going okay. I got recently some information about the original adoption agency that was adopted from and so but so I'm kind of using that to uh, to do some research but uh, I haven't made a lot of uh, progress recently but uh, I'm optimistic I still get occasionally messages from uh, different Jonathan and Linda Smith or people who know Smith uh, so I'm hoping that someday soon uh, I will find the Smiths. Will you make any more how to speak fluent Japanese videos soon? I love those vids. Oh, thank you, Gregory. Uh, I have one more idea that I haven't done yet. Um, I talked to Remy-chan yesterday, uh, but I'm not sure how soon we will have the video ready. But uh, yeah, it will come. And also, I probably will make some with Takeo-kun, too. Uh, oh. uh, so, thank you. I hope you will stick around uh, for when they come out. I guess I can talk about the book. Uh, so, this is the book I just finished. It's called Everybody Dies, a children's book for grown-ups. Uh, and it's sort of a, a, <laughs> a comedy book about dying to help grown-ups deal with their inevitable uh, fate. Uh, so I have not announced this book yet. I'm, it's being printed right now, um, but it's, it's sort of written like a book for children, uh, but it's meant for grown-ups uh, because most grown-up people are very scared of someday uh, dying. So I wrote this book to help comfort people who are afraid. Uh, well, I so you can see read that, can some of the drawings. So yeah. soon uh, I will make uh, a, a video introducing the book and showing some of the images and talking about where people can get the book. <laughs> so this question, how much is a watermelon in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny question. I think uh, Andrew is asking this question because there are certain melons and fruits in Japan that are very expensive, like the equivalent of 100 US dollars or more, much more. Uh, they have square watermelon. So these are very special fruits, uh, but these aren't it doesn't mean that you can't buy a regular watermelon. You can buy a regular melon or watermelon for a few 
uh, you know, the equivalent of a few American dollars or not so expensive. But they have certain special fruits that are used for gifts, uh, especially if you have a person uh, in the hospital who is sick, sending a fancy kind of uh, artistic fruit is a uh, common gift. Beautiful and so what, you also said healthy. Squ uh, square watermelons, do they like genetically engineer it to be square? They do have a, like, square... Like a square. I'm not sure they do it. I don't know. I think they just have somebody sitting encouraging it to be square, but I'm not sure. That's unverified. You had a okay, guitar, let's see. Right, would you be able to like play something? I can only play a very basic guitar. Somebody types in some kind of uh, so uh, something they want to hear or the first line of uh, something they want to hear a song about, I can try to make one. Make a song about Mistake and Bear. Okay, I'll try, but don't have any expectation. <laughs> From across the room, and you looked like his friend, so he thought he'd wave to you. But then he realized you were no one he knew, so he apologized like. A nice bear should <laughs> Mistaken bear I'm sorry I thought you were someone else Mistaken bear I'm very sorry But I'm just a humble bear And sometimes I make mistakes. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a great one, but well, that's what happens when you are improvising. Um, so here's an interesting question. What do you want people to take away from your YouTube videos? Well, uh, you know, initially, I, I guess I started to make YouTube videos for a kind of selfish reason to find uh, my uh, Jonathan and Linda Smith, but, um, you know, over time I started to make videos to kind of entertain people and make, basically I want to make people happy and feel good. So I try to make uh, all of my videos have kind of be happy even when they are sad. So maybe that doesn't make sense, but even if talking about something kind of sad or, you know, maybe having a bad day, I try to still inject some happiness. Uh, and also, you know, I try to promote understanding of uh, Japan and introduce people to some kinds of Japanese words and culture that maybe they don't see on other, you know, Japanese related channels or in a textbook. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't forget, Kentonaka loves you. Goodbye.